Welcome back to Fire Emblem, everybody! It's been, like, way too long. Way too long. Yeah, well, not as long as that one period where it's, like, from September to November we didn't record anything. That's true. But according um, in all, to all you viewers out in YouTube land, uh, it'll seem just, like, magically it's all just yep. coming out at one time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oofer. It's Extra tricky player. to record a co-op Let's Play of a GBA game that is not online when you both live in different places. But yeah. we're going to get through it. Oh boy, the desert. So this is a desert level, magic users move the same, but everyone else moves way slower. Well, that kid is like, a little dramatic. I'm gonna die, it's the desert! He's, he's barely even in the desert as well. He's right next to the oasis. Right. Hector's like, I'm picking you up, kid. <laughs> great movie scene. That would have been a great time for him to turn into a uh, dragon. <laughs> Spoilers. Didn't we already talk about that in the last episode? Um, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you did. No, I spoiled episode 7 last time. Oh, man. Well. Yeah, but, yeah. I guess I won't say anything more. Yeah. We don't want to have to put another spoiler war warning on that. I mean, that, you already probably should. <laughs> That's kind of my thing, though, right? I, uh... Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. It's Dumbledore slash Gandalf. Is that Athos? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember him. I just remember him kind of being, like, the plot MacGuffin that shows up at the end of the game. It's just like, oh, hey, guys, it's me. Everybody's favorite old guy. It's like, oh, yeah. It's like, okay. No, he's actually in it earlier. Silence. Is that like a thing on his head or like a cool scar? Um, you decide. <laughs> so you got Heath on the last level. Yep, so you get Hawkeye. So I'm gonna get Hawkeye, who is a beast. Yep. Oh yeah, the two weird, like, creepy... Bandits. Yeah. They're, um, companions. Are they actually brothers? I don't know if they're brothers, best friends, or, like, a little more than that. I don't really know. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Either way, they're, like, two weirdos who, like, hang out together and live in the desert. And, and have, look at like, those whips. kind of matching creepy hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little, it's a little odd. Oh man, Elwood. Okay, yeah, Lynn and her slim sword. Oh no, the Manicotti's about to break. Oh, that's bad. Alright. Dart's all set. Oh, I want to take Leak Alt on this level. We're probably going to be starting upgrading some characters soon. Most likely. See, this is where if you've got magic wielders this is or actually, this flying is a pretty, units... Yeah, this is a good level for Heath and or Fiora, but we're not really... No, this is actually a pretty bad level for Heath. Oh yeah, because they're not there, good There are magic us. units everywhere, and he's weak against magic. And archers. There's not a lot of archers, though, is there? There are a couple. I might take... I don't know if I should take Fiora. I don't want to be the first person to lose a character at this point. Honestly, if I take Heath, I would just probably let him die. I would send him to rescue Pent so he might get the side quest. What's the side quest again? Oh, Genesis. Genesis. Uh, at the very least. I personally don't really care if we do that side quest, unless you're a no, we no. must show I mean, it. I... No, we don't have to, so... Do you want to trade? Probably not. Unless... <laughs> Raven's got an Elysian whip. I'll give him the Knight's Crest, because he's going to be using it soon. Ish. Oh yeah. yeah good. Okay. We can each take five. So who has the extra guy right now? You have Elowood, Lynn... I've got the extra guy, I believe. 
who do you not want to take then? This I, is a bad level to take Kent on, actually. This is a bad level to take a moment on, so I'm not taking him. Uh, let's see, Oswin. Do you want to take Oswin? <sighs> who do you have to talk to, uh, what's his face with? Pent? No, um... Hawkeye? Hawkeye. Uh, a lord of some kind. At Woodworks. Tell you what, I'm not going to take Oswin and Hinnon. How many Lee guys Galt? do I have? You could get some sweet items. I want Lee Galt for sure. Let me just make sure. Lee Galt, Dart, Ella Wood, and Sarah. Lynn. And Sarah. So you still have an extra guy, right? Oh, do I have one, oh, wait, two, five. three, four? No, I've got the red mine guys. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm taking Lee Galt because you can find hidden items in the sand. What's, and What's the first the... level we get a uh, Heaven Seal on? Um, level after the next. So I probably shouldn't take Hector, though. Kanas is a must for this level. Yeah. Because he's fast. I might take Fiora. Fiora actually wouldn't be super bad because there are a lot of magic wielders. Shiva Javelin, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm all set. We can save before doing this, though. Just, just in case. Start. I mean, it's not like if we lose anybody but a lord, we're going to... This is quite fascinating. Murica, this is the desert wasteland. I don't know what voice to give Kanas. I think I still have an armor slayer. No, I do not. We suck on a die! Dark Prog can take him. Or Kanas. We just will take 10 damage, which is kind of a lot. Well, Sarah's right next to him, so... Yeah, alright. If you're willing to put her there. Also, am I the only one who finds it kind of weird that um, one of the bandits' name is Jasmine? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, weird. it's Paul and Jasmine. Nice. Star Command would be proud. So if you probably want Fiora to go down yeah, if you want probably. to rescue Pent. Well, I don't know if I'm going to rescue Pent with her. Oh, okay. Well, then Pent is almost certainly going to take out that bandit over there. And Pent's not really in any danger, for those of you watching, because he's, like, yeah, he is amazing. Boss. Urk is technically better if you can get him... To a higher level, but you know, so yeah, might as well. Well, hang on a second. Or have oh, she got 31 HP out. Yeah, yeah, she's she's fine. Hmm. But yeah, so what all's been happening here? I just finished with college. Got back for Christmas break. I mean, you're not finished with college, like, forever. Well, no. But... Oh, that's you Brits, barrier. that's university. <laughs> yes. Which, is, uh, to me, okay, that is such a... That is so cooler a name. University? Like, being like, oh, I just came back from university, then, like, I just came back from college. Yeah, I like, guess. Like, isn't it? Like, oh, my gosh. Also, this European musical, this whole music only plays on this level. I mean, that's cool, but... Oh, sorry. Yeah, so you yeah. just came back from, uh, from the school. university. <laughs> so we'll be we'll be back. Do you think we'll? What, what do you think the chances are of us finishing this over Christmas break? It's probably not going to happen. I'll just be honest. If we do like unless or, we like are like if we do one or two, if we do like one or two levels a day, we could easily do it. Yeah, that's true. Now, granted, there'll be some days where, where <laughs> you know we're not here. Oh, uh, Sarah, I love your resistance. Yeah, you can see Pent is just owning everything. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah, so, um, as for me, you know, I've been working. I have to work an extra week before Christmas, but, uh... Oh, that's rough. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. It's slowing down for sure. Oh, Pent is not going after the boss. It's Hawkeye, king of jungle. Basically like a giant naked dude with an axe. I mean, that's he has, pretty accurate. He has like a loincloth, but what? He's uh, a berserker. Yep. Oh yeah, you've been playing, uh, not for your channel, 
but just in your own time, have been playing Soul Calibur 2. Yes, I have. Uh, weapon Master Mode. <laughs> Don't diss Weapon Master Mode. This, okay, this is Jasmine. Oh, he's got a Guiding Ring we could steal, but it's risky. Is it a he? Or is it just like a, a lady on steroids and a bad haircut? Um, that's a dude. Definitely. <laughs> just checking. Thank you, Dot. So, as for me, um, what I've been playing, um, I got a PS4 over uh, Black Friday. Yeah. Um, shopping, I got a awesome bundle. So I have I've played um, the new Ratchet and Clank nice. game, which is really good. It's it's like half a remake of the first one, half a tie-in with the movie, which was supposed to be really bad, but the game itself is actually, like, it, it's phenomenal. Like, it's so much fun. Nice. So I played that. Um, I've been playing some Rocket League lately, which is uh, a lot of fun. I got that as well. Um, and then the other two games I've been playing... Um, I've been kind of playing a lot of Steam games, like a lot of smaller ones. Um, I also, when they were on sale, I got uh, Stardew Valley, which is an awesome game for those who like Ooh, Harvest yeah. Moon. Um, as well as Undertale, yes. which I don't want to say much because I know you're probably going to play it for your channel, but it uh, just it's fantastic. Everybody should go play it. Um, and I also played the nice Stanley Elf. Parable. Stanley Parable, which is uh, it was fun. It was a it was a very fun, unique. I've game. heard it's a quirky game. Very quirky. Um, I guess it started as a. Um, like a source engine mod for Half-Life. Oh, interesting. Um, and then they made it its own thing, kind of, if that makes sense. Yep. Nice, Rebecca. So, that was fun. I It's one of those where, like, reprobably value-wise, got going down there. there's not a lot of it. Yeah. But it, like, I got it for, like, I think a dollar fifty or Keep something. Keep in mind, Jasmine has a hand axe, so. So, it's definitely worth it. Um, I'd recommend that game as well. All, all the games I've been playing lately have been great, which is awesome. Nice. You've also been playing Investigations 2. Oh yeah, Ace Attorney Investigations 2, which never... Um, made it to America. Made it to America, but there is an excellent fan translation out there for it. Um, and I'm about halfway through that, and that game is a lot of fun as well. Um, so just kind of, it's like the end of the year, you know, I'm trying to like mm -hmm. finish the games I've started and play some of the games in my backlog, which is, yeah, it's been fun. Oh, um, shoot, I just realized Elwood should be heading to Hawkeye. Yeah, he probably should. Hawkeye will move up, I think, though, a little bit, won't he? Yeah, he'll start moving towards, I think, Elwood. Uh, <sighs> Jasmine's tough, just gonna say Yeah, that. I know. You could try to lure him out with a hand axe and then try to... With a hand axe? Well, I meant, like, lure him out so he'll move and use the hand axe. What's his attack? He's a warrior. He's got very good He tech. has an A support with Paul. Yep. Huh. Uh, so it's like, eh, they could be brothers. Because, like, there are another pair of brothers in the game that have an, uh, an A support. strength and defense. So yeah, so keep in mind... 18 minus 8. It's, so it's 17 plus whatever's the weapon of his uh, hand axe. So 17 plus 7. So 24, 24 minus. minus his defense. So that would be 16. Yeah, that's fine. I kind of want to steal that guiding ring, so... Yeah. I mean, I've, we have two at this point, and I'd be willing to trade you a guiding ring for a knight's crest. Well, we'll see. Um, where's Pent? Pent is over there, doing his own thing. Where do more units come? Um, uh, maybe. Or, or is this just like a really easy level? Well, Pent killed like half the guys, so might just be an easy level. All right. So, so like while we're talking about like what we've been playing and stuff, what are like I was kind of thinking back on like all the games I've played this year and stuff. What have been your favorite games? <sighs> Uh, not of 2016. Like, I know a lot of people are making lists like, oh, this is the best game that came out in the year 2016. I'm not talking that. I'm talking, like, what have been your favorite games that you've played for your channel or otherwise? Oh. It can be games you've replayed, too, I guess. Okay. Um, you only have 13 health, so be careful. Okay. Cool. Um, in 2016, though. All right. 
Ooh, nice, Lynn. So I'd say favorite games I've once played. Ooh, that's like it doesn't tough. have to be a definitive like this is number one, this is number two, but maybe yeah, like I know. five to ten. But some let's plays have been I enjoyed more. Uh, Lemmings Plus One was really good. That was like a fan pack. Okay. It was very well done. Nice. Um, Donkey Kong Country, the first one was a lot of fun to let's play. That was my first one. I was gonna say you've played that like a million times at this point. Pretty close to that. Yep. Uh. My favorite games I haven't let's played, Ace Attorney Investigations 2 is definitely up there. Alright, let's get Hawkeye. Uh, other... of the oh, Tropical Freeze. I beat that this year. That is a really good game. Oh yeah, you did beat that this year. I, I guess for this for the sake Ocean of this... Seal. Nice. I guess for the sake of this argument, I'll also count DLC. So like you could do Plague of Shadows. Oh, Plague Shovel of Shadows definitely up there, yes. Fantastic game. I actually like it more than regular Shovel Knight. Interesting. See, I, I have played like half of it, and I was like, oh, this is like a fun, free little mode, but like I wasn't that into it. But yeah. Maybe I'll have to finish it then, if that's one of your favorites. It's just very well done. Very nice. Alright, Lynn. What about, I know you also you... played, you played the uh, the new Ace Attorney game. Oh yeah, Spirit of Justice. Would I... that be on your list, or like, yeah? That's probably on my list. I was expecting that to be like, kind of lame. I was impressed with it. The last case especially is like really good. That's good. Uh, I think it's your turn. Yeah, Spirit of Justice I would highly recommend if you're an Ace Attorney fan. It is very hard, I will say. Like, there were several parts I got really stuck at. Stealing is a bit risky, but... What does he have? Steel Axe. Which is 11 power. So 11 plus 17, 26, minus Matthew's 8. So 18. So he'll live, he'll but live. he might have a crit chance. Uh, I'll take the risk. Alright. Okay, so you've named like maybe five. Yeah, uh, oh, Pikmin 3. That was oh, a lot yeah, of fun. Oh yeah, you played Pikmin 3 this year. That's a lot of fun. I would not risk that. What about the brave guy? No, nope. both attack twice. Nope. Keep her on standby. You might want to keep Kanas on standby as yeah, well. I'm They've got too. very low resistance. Fiora should probably rescue. Uh, no. Then the bandit will probably be able to attack her. Yeah, but she won't die from that. You, even if she has someone rescued, because she gets less speed then. She has less speed, but she won't, like, she doesn't have less defense. No. So that's 19 All right. and... Do what you want. 6, so she'd take 13 damage. Times 2, potentially. Oh, I didn't think about that. Uh, Maybe move her close, because Pent's not going to kill either of the bosses at this point. No. Looks like we're probably not going to get any of the other goodies on this level unless we're like, oh, we'll just take our time with Paul. Oh, great. Jasmine moved out of our range. Not out of Matthews. Do you have to beat both bosses? Oh, shoot. And I'm not rescuing Pent now. Nope. Also, that guy has a killer axe, so this Pent... Guy? No, no. The, the boss that Pent literally just attacked. Ouch. Okay, I'm retreating. Kanas. Also, weird girl in that house. I think she's in Fire Emblem 6. Oh yeah, we got Hawkeye. I kind of want to, like... It's a bit risky. I'm going to wait, and Hawkeye okay. can help him on the next turn. Alright, that's, that's a good idea. Raven. Oh wait, she's in his range. Yeah, but he won't trip. kill her. Right, I know. So. Alright. Yeah, well some of... I'm trying to think of... I, I actually kind of made like a half... Sort of a list this year. Okay. Of ones that I liked. So I think my favorite games... I have not finished Undertale yet, but I would say that's definitely on my list. Sweet. It's just... Um, I, like, I know that game has like a huge fan community that's kind of vocal and kind of obnoxious, 
but, like, it's a really good... It's a really original game. It really... Um, oh, increase the resistance. Forget that. It, it really, like, subverts your expectations of the genre, which is cool. Okay. Whew! Pent didn't die. Um, I played the... I think it's from 2013. The remake that's just called Tomb Raider. Oh, yeah. On PS3. And it's it's very similar to the Uncharted games. I was kind of blown away with how good that was. Because it's kind of like Uncharted, but with, like, an overworld map. Which is nice. Like, Uncharted's very linear. Like, you basically <laughs> will, like, go through, like you know, these awesome set pieces, but it is very linear, whereas Tomb Raider was a lot more open. Okay. So I thought that was really cool. Of course, Dark just can't be make it. Um, I played the original Spyro the Dragon. Oh, yeah! Uh, for PS1. I'd never played that before. That game is awesome. Um, I was an N64 kid, as opposed to a PS1 kid, but um, I got it for like a dollar yeah. on PSN a while ago on one of their crazy okay, sales. So also, there's stuff hidden next to all these bones. Yeah. You just have to, like, have a thief go there. Right. So, the, the question is, since uh, Paul just died to Pent, do we want to go after that stuff? Because I know we can get, like, a body rain, a light brand. Light One... brand is not worth... Or, no, that's the... That's, that's the, the lightning... That's the lightning sword. I was thinking of rune. Um, one of them is, uh... Like, one of the rings that Ninian and Nils can use. Mm-hmm. And there's one other fan. Really, the light brand's the only thing that I would care about. Even then, we probably wouldn't use it because it gets too good to use. Right, exactly. So. All right. I'm fine. I can't even reach him. So how about you attack now? Okay. What's that? Hang on. Hold this for a second. Okay. Just setting this back down. Wink is looking at his list of yeah games? Um, question mark. Yeah, kind of. Um, I also finished um, Spelunky this year, which is not really a game that you. Like, there is an end to it, but it's kind of just one of those that you, like, will replay over and over again type things, because it's yeah. a rogue roguelike kind of in that way. Hawkeye, there's a good chance he'll just insta-kill Jasmine. Alright, he'll be my backup. Dark will lend a hand as well. Oh, Matthew you missed him? Okay. Or you could have Rebecca try. Short bow, she could crit. Sweet. Jasmine is not hitting very frequently. Don't do that! <laughs> You're not even using Fjord. You don't want her to get the EXP. Uh, I, like, kind of need Kanas to take out this guy, though. Yeah. Not Luna. I'll only attack once. Yeah, I was hoping for a crit. Dart can try to take out Jasmine. With his... I don't really want Dart to get the experience, though. Like, no offense, but... You know, not really my guy. Yeah, I know, but do you really want Hawkeye to get the EXP? He's the only one of your guys who can reach him. I'm just gonna do this so he can't move. Okay. Um, anyway, so where was I? Oh, I also, um, I didn't play through the entire game this year. <sighs> I wouldn't do that. That's risky. That is, hang on, he won't die from that, though, so I'll wait right there. But it'll, be my, well, it'll provide... be my turn to go first next time. Because technically this yeah, is your turn, you I know. decided not to. But if he attacks Dart, which there's a decent That's true. chance Dart he might will... take him out. Yeah, yeah, um, out of range of I, didn't be, I didn't play through the entire game this year, but one of the games that I finished that I was like near the end of was Mario Galaxy 2. You Oh, yeah. That was a... just That's an amazing... Like, one of the definitive Sh Wii uh, games. Are you just waiting? Yeah, yeah just Raven can wait. Um... Definitely one of the definitive Wii games. Better than the first one. Oh, nice, I Rebecca. Um, it, I, just, it just adds everything to the first game and, and, it, and kind of exceeds. There are parts of Galaxy 2 where I'm like, this is way better, but there are also parts of Galaxy 2 where I'm like, I kind of wish that there was more exploration because it's even more linear than Galaxy 1. That's true. Like, I didn't like the Starship Mario. I preferred kind of the hub world of the... Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever oh, it's called. Well, that's the end of the level. Oh, nice. Um, so that was that's really the only thing that bugged me. Yoshi was actually fun to use in it, as yep. opposed to Sunshine, where I kind of didn't really like Yoshi. Um, I don't know, just everything about that game I really liked. The new power-ups were pretty yep. cool. So that was really fun. Um, I played the third... Um, game in the Zero Escape series, which is Nine Persons, Nine Hours, Nine Doors, Virtue's yep. Less Reward. I played the, um, the third one of those, Zero Time Dilemma. Um, and while it... 
was kind of a letdown when it comes to the ending, because the second game just, like, blows the plot out of the water. Like, it's in, like the second game, I was kind of, like, when you start, I was kind of like, ah, this is not as good as the first one. Mm-hmm. I don't know about this. The third game... It, like it, the, but when the second game ends, you're like, oh my gosh, I need the third game now. Like the <laughs> like it, the second game it has some amazing twists, like some of the best twists I've ever had in a video game. And the third game d- was really good and really fun and interesting, but there were huge portions of the second game that they just decided to ignore oh. and never explain. So that was kind of annoying, but overall, I still really, really had a lot of fun with that. So it sounds like FNAF in that regard. <laughs> Is that Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah. I've never played those. I played... I beat the first one. I... I See, I got them on my phone, because I had, like, pretty much yeah. unlimited iTunes money. Yeah. And d- don't get them on the phone. Especially yeah. the, the second one is, like, literally impossible on the phone. Like, you can't re- react fast enough. That makes sense. But yeah, I, I do like how there's, like, the inner lore in those games... But what I don't like is how, like, each new game just, like, adds more questions rather than answering the previous mm-hmm. ones. I yeah. feel like they could have done a better job tying up all the loose ends. No, that, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And that's kind of a lot of games, I've noticed. Mm-hmm. Um, Zero Time Dilemma, though, that was, like, the big... That was my big complaint with it, but it had some really good, like, what? And the cool thing was, um... So the first game is all 2D. Mm-hmm. No voice talent. Um, the second game is in 3D with some voice talent. But it's still basically kind of adventure game, visual novel style, like Phoenix Wright. Yeah. Whereas the third one is basically everything's in full 3D. Um, pretty nice rendered. The frame rate's kind of bad, but like since it's basically a puzzle slash like story game, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, so I, I really enjoyed that. Um, I also played Grim Fandango for the first time this year. <laughs> which um, How haunting. Exactly. Um, if anybody is a fan of adventure games, like I feel like if you're not into adventure games, like point and click games, like the Amigas Entertainment ones and all that, mm-hmm. it's not gonna like win you over. Yeah. But if you like those games already, it's like a must play. Okay. Like it's very fun. Oh yeah, we get Aphis drops. Oh yeah, those are good. <laughs> it has some confusing puzzles, but uh, I enjoyed it overall. So. All right. Yeah. It was fun. Also, two games that we haven't mentioned that technically we beat in 2016. Mario 3D World and Rayman Legends. I don't think we beat Rayman Legends in 2016. I think we beat that last Didn't year. Didn't you get that for Christmas last year, though? Two years ago. Oh, two years ago? Oh, never mind. Yeah. What? The, that was weird. Why did Elwood just stay on there? For a... Oh, yeah. Elwood comes back home. Elbert. I, I still think it's hilarious that his name is Elbert. It's like Dilbert. <laughs> Like if Ella Wood was like a Dilbert character, he'd be like, "Oh, it's Albert." Yeah, kind of. Albert. <laughs> She's like, "Have you lost weight?" It's like Ella Wood was like kind of fat when he left. <laughs> you look like you're a much higher level than you were when you left. You got some cool battle scars. Adore my battle scars. Yes. See, okay, so she has, like, one of those necklace things that you wear on your head with, like, a little jewel. It's obvious, whereas Athos, it's like, it could just be, like, a scar from when they took yeah. his brain out. <laughs> well, I mean, Elwood, like, kind of has that, too, or no, it could he just has be a furrowed a... brow, I think. Elwood, you need to oh. play Fire Emblem Awakening. That tells you more about the Avatar. The Avatar... And it looks like we can go on to the next level. Oh, we did not get the side quest. So if we had gotten 700 experience or more on that level, we would have gotten this side oh, quest. Oh, that's what you have to do to get that. But that's fine. This means we're going to four-feigned offense. I'll play another. All right. 